Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Sunday, May 31st of 2020. Well, our neighborhood had a block party this weekend, and there were so many different topics of conversation entertained. I noticed, however, that when anything concerning God or Jesus came up, the conversation was dominated by just a couple of people. As I had a chance to think about the afternoon, I wondered what the other people might have been thinking during those moments. What I did notice, though, was how others were watching those particular people for the remainder of the afternoon. You know, it's been said that at any given time, there are at least seven pairs of eyes watching us. So the $100 question is, what are they seeing in us? So today, this morning's prayer reminds us that someone is always watching us. Father, for so many of us, Sunday is the day when we attend church to worship you. Unfortunately, once the service is over, many depart the place of worship and go about their lives as if they'd never heard of you, living according to their own desires. What is the message we're sending to those who are watching our lives? Whether we want to believe it or not, there is always someone watching us. Father, your salvation creates a definite and visible change that takes place within us that attracts attention to our lives. Are we displaying that change or hiding it from others? Oh, Father, what message are we sending to others? Are we causing people to want to know why we are so different? Or are we just confirming their decision to distance themselves from us? Our witness comes initially to others through the way we live our lives and the way we treat others. As we encounter others displaying your love, they find us pleasantly odd. When they consistently receive this type of reception from us, they start asking questions concerning our lives and decisions, questioning what makes us so different. So many believers try to cram the scriptures down the throats of others without gaining any credibility or permission. Oh, Father, this only, does, this only serves to drive people further away from you. Father, help us to realize it's time to quit speaking the scriptures and start living the scriptures for all to see. In doing so, we eliminate the dual standard and hypocrite labels drawing others closer to us and to you. Through this process, Father, we gain permission to speak openly regarding the difference you have made in our lives, even inviting them to experience you for themselves. Father, help us to open our eyes to the understanding that we are the living, breathing body of Christ that the unbelieving world sees. May we be found faithful in your sight. It's in the name of Jesus we pray this morning, Father. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.